Go ahead. All right, for my informative brief, I talked about the similarities and differences between wooden and aluminum baseball bats. Uh, but today I'll be telling you why I think aluminum bats should be banned altogether. Steven Domaluski was your average 12 year old boy. He had a lot of friends, uh, did well in school, played sports. Um, but in 2007, Steven was playing a baseball game, which was his favorite sport. And shortly after the game started, he was violently struck in the chest by a line drive off an aluminum bat, which caused his heart to stop, which then induced an a coma that he was in for several weeks, which caused severe brain damage. And this is Steven now. He's confined to a wheelchair, cannot speak clearly, and has to have constant attention 24-7. In the league Stephen played in now, he uses wooden bats exclusively, so they completely banned aluminum bats. The question is, why do almost all little leagues, college teams, and high school teams still use aluminum bats when things like this happen? So to take a tragedy like this for the rules to change. A story like this has a personal connection to me. Uh, because when I was 13, one of my good friends actually got hit in the face by a line drive off an aluminum bat. I was actually the catcher and he was the pitcher, so I got a really good view of it, which actually was not a good thing. Uh, he was knocked unconscious, was bleeding profusely, and he broke his jaw and lost his whole top row of teeth. It was a pretty gruesome sight. It was one of the scariest things I've seen in my life, uh, much less just my baseball career. Ever since that moment, I've been a strong advocate that little leagues and high schools should start using wooden bats and just get rid of aluminum bats altogether. It is accidents such as the ones my friend had and Steven Domaluski, along with many others, that have caused the controversy to heat up in recent years as technology has increased and bats have become stronger. Uh, the controversy between the two types of bats really began in 2003 when 18-year-old Brandon Patch was killed after being hit by a line drive off an aluminum bat that struck him in the head. Um, witnesses at the scene said there was no way he could have gotten out of the way uh, and there's no way he could have reacted in time to avoid getting hit in the head or even death. This led to Brandon's parents filing a lawsuit against Louisville Slugger, which are the maker of almost all uh, aluminum bats these days. Uh, and this drew national attention to the the debate, and that's why it's such a big deal nowadays. Uh, the lawyer, lawyer for Brandon's family in this case, Ernest Franzudo, claimed that aluminum batted balls travel 15 to 25 percent faster than wood, and also stated that, in quotes, comparing today's aluminum bats to those of 30 years ago is like comparing a match to a blowtorch. So I guess that's a pretty big difference. Uh, Brandon's family ended up winning the case and received $800,000. Overall, balls hit off aluminum bats have caused many traumatic brain injuries and other severe injuries, such as broken limbs um, and heart conditions. As technology has progressed and bats have become more powerful, and statistics have supported that wooden bats are actually a lot safer than aluminum. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, 17 deaths were caused by uh, batted baseballs uh, between 1991 and 2001. And of these 17, eight were hit by aluminum bats, two were hit by wood, and the other seven are unreported. But as you can see from this ratio, a lot more of the deaths were caused because of aluminum bats, and this is because of the increased speed. Uh, so this is, this is obviously proof that aluminum bats have more killing power and are more dangerous. Also, in a study conducted in 1998 by Kettering University, uh, metal bats have the ability to hit balls up to 10 miles per hour faster than wood, reaching speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. This difference could have most likely given kids like Brandon and Steven the split second they needed to get out of the way. Although this switch from aluminum to wood in lower age groups would probably decrease the liveliness of the baseball game and make it a little more boring, uh, it would, and it would make it harder for them to hit. It would certainly increase safety for players, which I think is uh, the most important thing, and I think that's what a lot of people can agree with. Just recently, a newspaper article was released in the Wall Street Journal 
um, announcing the national banning of composite aluminum bats, which are actually the most like powerful aluminum bats, like the most advanced because they're made of titanium. I don't even know what else, but they have been proven to hit balls the furthest and the hardest. Uh, so this, uh, it was actually April 13th of this year, so it's really recent. Um, and this shows that steps are being taken in the right place, and uh, it's obviously good news. All the facts, statistics, and heartbreaking stories have led many, including myself, to believe the switch to wood bats at all age groups across the country need to take place sooner rather than later. As injuries and deaths build up, more and more people tend to agree with me. If wood bats were used in the games Stephen Domaluski and Brandon Patch played in, they would most likely still be living normal lives today. 